Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Get up here. Have you brothers no, ever laid foot with a woman? Have you done that yet? Okay. So in the world, check this out. In the world, right? They tell you that it is they'll tell you that it is if you don't play with women, you're, you're not cool. You're not hit, right? The reality is, Sorry. brothers are the most righteous out here. You don't need to deal with no woman until you're ready to make them your wife. That is out of being a man with Yes, absolutely. Give me some options. So this is how you prove my sister in a relationship. Forgive me. Forgive me. Well, I'm calling Richard Ballas speak. I don't agree with that. Chapter 6 and verse 7. No, what is get a friend? So the first thing that you do when you're looking to get in a relationship is that sister needs to be your friend. Read it again. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. So we gotta prove to make sure would this sister be a good mother? Because if you're gonna marry her to make her your wife, don't you want to one day have kids with her? How does she treat children? Can she cook? What does she do? And I realize that's Satan. It's straight Satan. Read it again. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. If you get a friend that's sister for your wife, you gotta prove it. You gotta put it through some tests. See how, like for example, there's a movie where the brother, he um, he, he locks the door, and she comes around and she unlocks the door for him. Little little, little test that you do like that to see if she's really for you. But you might go on dinner one night or to the store. You got no money, and she says, "You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll pay for it." Great, come on, Ray. If thou winners get a friend. Prove him first! Because as you get older, right? You get older, guess what happens? Things change. Things are not as exciting. So guess what happens? Guess what happens, brother? It's now the friendship comes in after the SEX is gone. The friendship happens. Great. And be not hasty to credit him. Don't be hasty to credit that sister. Guess what? Because you are going to stay with this woman for life. So if you stay with her for life, don't be quick to lay down. Don't be quick to credit her. That's the thing That's you brothers okay. gotta learn. That's why you, you gotta learn. Shit, you gotta learn brother. Come on, teacher, right? Truth. Adam Israel! Silence! Help! God! Who's the king Christ? Who's the king Christ? Who's the king Christ? Hand! Salute! Most high Christ! Bless! Salute! Down! Hand! Salute! Most high Christ! Bless! Salute! Down! I'm gonna give you command of our adding on some We don't got Hebrew in us. I'm gonna tell you right now, we don't got Hebrew in us. Hey, look, 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 we had a lot of good questions. What's your last question? What do you mean by that? Like, say, for instance, a female thinks we lie and we tell her over again our story that's the truth. Alright, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There are one million more women than men. You know what this means? Exactly what Cap brought out. There, a lot of them are gonna die alone. Alone. You wanna know why? Because real men are gonna keep God's laws. First Kings, that's two and two. What? Real men are gonna keep God's laws. The, the thing that's been disappeared in America is a real black man. Here's, here's the story of a real black man, right? When we came off those slave ships, what was the example that they made of the black man? No. When they took us off those slave ships, we had wives. We had children. We were strong, valiant men. That's right. What do you think they did with that strong, valiant man when he got off the slave ship? Took him away from his family. How? Because uh, you're right, you're right. They did take him away from the family, but how? They sold him to somebody else. What? You think he went easy? No. You know what they did? You see the scars on this man back? They beat the hell out of us. You know what else they did? They did something called tar and feather. They tarred and feathered us. They threw hot tar on us and feathered us with chicken feathers. Our skin fell off in front of our wives. They taped us and tied us to horses and pulled us in different directions, pulled our arms and our legs apart from our body. Right. If your wife sees you do go through that, is she gonna think you can protect her? 
I mean, to be honest, I don't know. I don't have one. I'm asking, if you saw your father get pulled apart in front of your face, you think he would protect you? So that's the image of black men since the slave ship. That we can't protect our women. That's why the real image of men needs to be reestablished in the earth. And that's what we're doing. That's what y'all need to do. Because real men ain't in Chicago. It's a bunch of mature, uh, immature boys that are, that are in adult ages. 34, 35 still acting like they're 16. Am I lying? Read. Book of 1 Kings, chapter 2 and verse 2. I doubt the way of all the earth. So this is King David, a black man, telling his son Solomon, a black man. What's going on, bro? What's going on, boss? You know, you know, you know Solomon was a black man, right? This is what a black man is telling his son. Read. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. He said, be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. How do you do that? Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways to keep his statutes and his commandments. So you gotta keep the statutes and commandments of God, AKA rules. Do black people like rules? No, not really. No, why do you think our community is what it is? Why do you think Hispanic and black women have 19 million abortions since the 1970s? What? 19 million babies put to death by black and Hispanic women since 1970. You wanna know why? He went over marriage. The rate of marriage among Hispanics is three out of 10. Well, you know, three out of 10. So out of all the kids that's out here, seven of them ain't got no daddy. Well, you know, and mama couldn't pick a man. Right. Because they don't pick men that follow the commandments. Right. They don't honor marriage. They don't honor what was brought out about the order of the household. That's Black men, what sports you like to play? I play basketball, football, basketball. volleyball. I play basketball, that's it. All right, let's use a basketball analogy, right? Let's say the coach makes y'all practice twice a day, five days a week. Y'all got a game on Sunday, right? You're supposed to run zone defenses the whole first quarter. You figure, hey, I know more than the coach. I'm going to run man to man. What's going to happen to you? The other team's gonna end up winning and... What's going, what the coach gonna do to you? Oh, he gonna make you run. Huh? Oh, he gonna run, you conditional. He gonna run, you right? What is that called? Conditional. That's called uh, discipline. That's called uh, uh, reprimand. That's called consequences. Oh, right. Guess what? Childless homes? Women out here dressed like harlots? That's a consequence of us not following God's rules. Right. God gave us rules. We said, I'm not gonna follow them. That's right. And we decided to do what we want to do. Right. Read on. And keep the, the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies. And it is, it is written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. Why do you think we're not prospering? Because we're not keeping the commandments. Right. Look at, look, you ever heard of Black Wall Street? What happened to it? We had economic power. Y'all ever heard of Black Wall Street? No. There's a show that y'all should watch. What's it called? Lovecraft Country. Okay, Country. Lovecraft Country. Watch that show. It shows Black Wall Street and how it was destroyed. Now we had economic power. What happened to that economic power? How? Huh? No. White people dropped napalm from airplanes and helicopters on a black neighborhood because we was too successful. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring. Why was they able to do that? Because with all that success, we were not keeping God's laws. That's right. With all that success, guess what? We don't keep none of God's laws. Let me ask you a question. Do you know some of you? You believe in the Bible, right? What color is Jesus Christ? On that sign over there, which one of them signs is Jesus Christ? Let's see. Which one of them would be Jesus Christ? The fact, the fact that it's taking these two a little long to decide means they don't know whether they want to please me by saying he's black or whether they want to go with what they know that they see in the world and say he's white. Right? 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 It's a battle, you wanna know why? Because this is what they teach. Every Hispanic out here believes that Jesus Christ is a white man. Right. Bring it out. Because that was beat into them in slavery. Right. Bring it out. You tell them Jesus Cristo is negro, Jesus Cristo is no blanco, they don't wanna hear that. 
because they don't want to see that a black man like y'all is their Lord and Savior. Uh, That's right. Who we gonna get that? Revelation 20. Huh? They disgrace us because they don't want the image of black men to be looked at as power. Bring it out! Black men have the image of power in my life. When you think of Shaka Zulu, what you think about? You think about some soft boy? No. When you see brothers like Malcolm X, you think about somebody soft? You think of power. Power. That's the image that they don't want to see. You know what they want? They want our brothers and women wearing, wearing hoochie booty shorts. Ain't that a thing now? Ooh, Ain't they walking with booty butt? Yeah, oh, I have yeah. them under they want Daddies. They want men wearing Hoochie uh, Daddy shorts. Yeah. Tell me, is that, is that right? How the hell we gonna be men we wearing Hoochie Daddy shorts? Showing our thighs off. Bring it out. Bring it out. Come on. Read Revelations 1 14. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Jesus Christ, because we men, and this is how men speak. We ain't soft, effeminate little boys like how y'all run at home. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool. Right? What kind of texture is this hair right here? Look at the sister in the back. Look at the sister in the back. Look at her hair. Sister right there with the dress on. What kind of hair she got? What kind of hair you got, sis? Of course, they also call it wool. Wooly hair. That's good hair. Her hair defies gravity. Her hair grows up. Everybody else hair grows down. She got the good hair. But our sisters will take that good hair, shave it off, and put on a damn wig that's blonde. That's right. But Jesus Christ had white woolly hair. Does that man right here have white woolly hair? He have, he have stringy goat's hair. That's what he got. He got woolly hair though, right? Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Said Christ's eyes were as a flame of fire. You know what that mean? What's a flame of fire? What, what color is that? Red. Red. Why was Christ's eyes red, brother? Why was his eyes red? Thank you, officer. I'm going to show you. Why was Christ's eyes red? Somebody tell me. Why was Christ's eyes red, bro? You don't know? Genesis 49, 12. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. It was prophesied that Christ the black Messiah yes. would have red eyes because he drank wine. What was Christ's first miracle? Turn the water to wine. Yes. That's right. Ain't no white man turn the water to wine. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Is it hard to wait? All I said was wait. Is it hard to wait? Right, as white as snow, Three. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, Three. and his feet, his feet, the feet of Christ was what? Like a divine bride. My brother right here pouring the beer. What color is brass? It's mustard. It what is, what color is brass? Green? Brass. Uh, brass. 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 brass, with a beat. Brass. I don't know. What color is brass? What color is brass? What color is brass? Something like a penny. Like a penny. It's brown. He said his feet right, was like brass. Like? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Now if you take brass and you burn it, what color it get? Get what? It gets dark. Jesus Christ was described as a dark man with white woolly hair. Right. So you know what that means? If Christ was walking the earth right now, you would call him a negro. That's, That's right. right. You would say, Jesus Christ is moreno. That's what you would say. He would be the same black people that you think you different than. Not knowing that we're the same people. The only thing that divides us is a language. That's right. He want to know about We're not doing the Father God's work. We're not? No. What's the Father God's work? First and foremost. Isaiah 58. Okay. It doesn't matter what you quote. It doesn't matter what you quote. Because at the end of the day, God said. This is the problem with Christianity. No, 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 no. Christianity says it don't matter what come out the Bible. That's why y'all destroyed as a people. That's what the history. Of Puerto Rican Day Parade. We're not happy to be living among white people. That's the history. Don't come out our 
Y'all have been at four for four million Puerto Ricans are birth or live in the United States of America. Right. That's what y'all got to celebrate. The fact that you live in a place that hates you. Make it plain. Read it. Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. What's the word of God? This right here. Read. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. We're not going to spare nobody's feelings. You want to know why? Because our people are run with emotion. Yeah, say something. Bitches be tripping. And that's the shirt. Bitches be tripping. And that's the word of God. 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 Wait, hold on, wait, wait. So so y'all think that I called her that? Listen, read her shirt. Look at her shirt. Look at her shirt. I read her shirt. I read her shirt. That's how emotional y'all get. Yep. She got yep. the shirt that says bitches be tripping. She does. Shirt and it says that we as black men are not doing the word of God. You read the Bible. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.